Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Can I have your address? Yes. Yeah, Madhuri, uh, introduce yourself. It, it was a pleasure to introduce myself. I am Madhuri. I am from Over. Uh, and uh, my family have four members, including me. I have done my uh, bachelor's of technology in the stream of electronics and communication engineering from the Lekredi Bhargavi College of Engineering in Vijayawada. I had done my main project in the effective way of detecting underwater mines using machine learning. And my strengths are, I am a great team player and a hardworking person. Uh, hobbies are uh, to do dancing, drawing and playing badminton. And my uh, sh uh, short term goal is to uh, place a place in a software company and and my long term goal is to to get a good position in that same company itself. That's it. Can you tell about your uh, home place, Ongol? Uh, Ongol? Ongol is famous for the wheels. You already know that Ongol is like that I uh, tell you saying. And it has the uh, place called Chimakutti. It has many uh, mines itself. Uh, where the mine digging place takes place. Now uh, it is famous in the Andhra Pradesh itself. Okay. Right. Let's discuss about the Java because you have mentioned in your resume. So you have learned only Core Java, why not uh, HTML? You did not mention any of those things. So I'm learning HTML, HTML and CSS. Okay. Right now in the running. Yes. So why Java is Platform independent? Uh, Java is a platform independent programming language because of the name Bora. Write once run anyway. We can write the code and it can be run on any operating system like Windows, Mac, Linux, etc. And we can get the same results in every operating system. Why Java is secure? Secure because it runs on the client side and the server side. It doesn't have any crashes between the programs. It can uh, control the virus. Uh, and the, some other problems, uh, tampering, uh, in-person communication, etc. So it is very secure programming language. What are the jobs of compiler? Jobs of a compiler is to compile the uh, program uh, and it can uh, generate the byte code, which can develop the dot class file. What are the types of operators we have in Java? Operators which can perform the operation on some operands like 1, or one 2 and 3. Uh, we have some operators called automatic, relational, uh, bitwise, logical, increment and decrement operators in Java. How many operands are required for ternary operator? For ternary operator we require 3 operands. What about first operand in Bernard? It's expression 1, expression 2 and expression 3 we call okay. What is the output of the relational operators? Relational operators output uh, two of them. Okay. What are conditional statements? Conditional statements in Java which can check the condition of the uh, code. If it is true, it can execute the uh, program and uh, display the output. If it is false, it can coming out of the loop and it doesn't perform any operations. We have conditional state, uh, conditionals like if simple if, if else, nested if else if ladder. Can you tell me the difference between if else ladder and switch case? Switch case which can check the case value and the expression. If it is matches with the expression value, then it gives the output of that case. And what I'm going to If else ladder. If else ladder which checks all the uh, statements uh, until the condition is uh, satisfied. If the condition is satisfied one in one, one if else statement, it prints only that output. What are looping statements? Looping statements in Java which call as it, it can it can act as a control statements. Uh, looping means it iterates the uh, operations. Uh, we have the looping operations like uh, 
while do while fun looks. We have three looks in Java. What are the jumping statements we have? Jumping statements like uh, switch, uh, break and continue. It is also known as? Jumping statements. Jumping statements is also known as? Okay, can we write any statement after the break and continue keywords? Uh, after the continue keyword, we can write any other statements because uh, if uh, if uh, break also we can continue the another statements because in, if we give break, it doesn't doesn't print that statement and prints remaining statements. I think we get compile time error. Do you know what is the name of the compile time error? If I write the statements after the break and continue. End of the. Okay. So what is a method? Method method is a method is a combination consists of the method implementation and the method statements. Uh, it, it can perform some operations. Uh, we have the uh, written types also in it. Uh, void is one written type which can return nothing and we can write data types in the methods. We have to write a written statement at the end of the statement to bring the output. What is method overloading? Method overloading in Java, uh, we have uh, in, same, in the same class, if we write two, two or more methods with the same name as the class name and uh, differ, in the, differ in the parameters is known as method overloading. What is the actual use of method overloading? Use of method overloading code reusability, code reusability and code readability. What is compile time binding? Compile time binding is the binding of uh, method method formal statements and method implementation statements based on the method name at the time at the time of compilation is known as method binding. What are global members? Global members are we also called as the global variables. Global members which we can declare inside the class and above the main method which can use for the entire code itself. What is what is difference between static and non-static? Static members we using the keyword called static. For the non-static we don't use any keyword. For the static block, uh, static itself creates a memory. There is no need of JVM. But for the non-static for the non-static block, JVM itself can create a memory by using a new operator. So how do we access the static members? We access the static members uh, we are, while we are giving static keyword. We can print output without using any object creation. But what is the appropriate way to access st static members? Can we execute any Anything without uh, before main method? No, sir. We we can call them with the object creation, so we can. Okay. I think we can execute uh, before the execution of main method with the help of static initializer block. Yes. When it is executed, static initializer block. When the class loader is calling these all these static members, then it executes the. Program. So how to access non-static members? Non-static members can be accessible by using the new keyword. Uh, we can create an object for the non-static members. For that object we can take the output from the course. What is uh, constructor? Constructor What is constructor overloading? Constructor overloading, uh, it, it is a problem. In, it is a problem which we can call as the diamond problem. Also, uh, while while the 
why it is calling it gets the ambiguity for the which method will be called because we are in inheriting two two cla uh, two classes you are telling about constructor chaining problem i am asking constructor overloading constructor overloading is also same like as method overloading uh, which we can call as uh, two methods of the uh, two constructors of the same name you have little confusion over this let me tell you constructor overloading is about creating objects of the same class creating objects of same class like uh, nokia will be having the different version mobile phones of the same brand nokia so in the same way constructor overloading will be helpful to create different versions of the same object next sir uh, what is this call statement this call statements which we can use for that class only for the class objects we can call from uh, by using this call statements what is super call statement super call statements uh, can be used for calling the previous super class object super class objects and super class variables what is inheritance inheritance in java uh, it is very useful in java which we use for inheriting the properties from the super class to the sub class or the parent class to the child class we are we are having the code reusability and code readability for the inheritance we have five types of inheritance a uh, single inheritance multi level inheritance hierarchical multiple and hybrid level inheritances can we achieve multiple inheritance uh, for uh, by using uh, implement uh, interfaces we can achieve the multi level uh, multiple inheritance what is diamond problem diamond problem is also known as uh, constructor overload uh, constructor chain problem of uh, for calling the same constructors at the same time we can get this problem uh, the compiler doesn't know which constructor to be called because of the same things what is method overriding method overriding in java uh, which we can call as we can call uh, two 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 methods as the same name by using the class name but in same uh, same arguments also is known as construct uh, method overriding what is abstraction abstraction means uh, it hides the implementation of the code and gives the uh, main output of the program shows the important information of the program so how can we achieve abstraction abstraction we can achieve by using implements keyboard uh, and we can have this inheritance and uh, type casting also we are using it. Abstraction. What is upcasting? Upcasting is nothing but converting the subclass object to the superclass object. What is downcast? Converting a uh, upcast of a uh, up subclass superclass object to the subclass object, but it is not possible in Java. What is class cast exception? What do we get? In downcast. Yes. But how to overcome class cast exception? Very good, Madhuri. I have to revise Koja once again. Some topics are needed to be covered.